I just got the new iPhone 8, and here's what I think about it. At first glance, the iPhone 8 looks a lot like last year's iPhone 7, and even the 6 and the 6S before that. But what Apple did here was really refine the design. So instead of metal on the back, they switched to glass. The new glass backing is more scratch resistant than the old aluminum backing, and it also allows wireless charging to pass through. This is the first iPhone that allows wireless charging, and there are tons of different chargers that'll work with the iPhone. And next year, Apple's gonna make its own wireless charger called AirPower, which will charge the iPhone, the Apple Watch, and your AirPods. The iPhone 8 has Apple's new A11 Bionic processor. Now that's a mouthful, but basically what it means is it's really fast and will likely be a lot faster than top phones like Samsung's Galaxy Note 8. Another big feature here is the new portrait lighting mode on the iPhone 8 Plus. It uses the dual lenses to take a portrait style photo that you can adjust the lighting of either before you take it or even after you take it. It can automatically detect the background behind your subject and create a black background, black and white, and other really cool effects like studio lighting where it looks like a spotlight is shining on the subject. Now portrait lighting isn't perfect yet. It's still in beta and Apple is going to have to improve it over time with new software updates. The iPhone 8 also ships with iOS 11. You have a brand new control center, the notifications window has changed too, and AR kit, which lets developers make augmented reality apps for the iPhone. This will work on the iPhone 8 pretty well, and it will also work on older versions of the iPhone. If you have an iPhone 7 now, you probably don't need to upgrade to the iPhone 8. There's just not a lot of new features here that you're going to be able to enjoy. But if you have an even older model, let's say an iPhone 5S or a 6 or a 6S, this is going to be a really nice upgrade for you. The iPhone 8 has tons of new features that you're going to enjoy. But then, of course, there's the big elephant in the room, the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 is coming out in November, and it blows away even the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 is still a really great phone, but if you don't mind waiting a little bit longer and you don't mind that $1,000 price point, the iPhone 10 might be worth it. <laughs>